Andrew. I'm joined by Clint Guadiana with Gladys Porter Zoo. And who do you have with us today? Well, I have what's called a cat-eyed snake. Okay. Yeah, they're called that because of their elliptical pupils. You see, just like a cat. Most snakes have round pupils, but these guys have elliptical pupils. Okay, and mm -hmm. so how old is this guy? Uh, probably about four years old. It was actually wild caught, so I'm not entirely sure. So a cat-eyed snake, where do they come from? They're actually native here to South Texas. They also range down into Mexico, but they only come from about eight counties here in Texas. Okay. And so that's their entire range in the United States. So we're pretty lucky to have these guys down here. Okay, and so you mentioned he was wild caught. Mm -hmm. Was so he was caught in this area. Yes, and uh, and we brought him back to the zoo to start a breeding program because these guys are a threatened species in Texas. Okay. And so we want to make more of them so that uh, we have them around so nothing happens to this species. How's that breeding program going? Uh, it's going pretty good. We actually had some eggs this year and, and they hatched. So okay. We had a, a few babies. Why are they threatened? What is what's I guess. Snakes are kind of predators to a lot of things. Yeah, uh, a lot of things eat these, but uh, to tell you the truth, it's humans. Uh, we are growing uh, at an alarming rate, and it's destroying their habitat. So the, the few refuges that are still around are, are kind of the strongholds of these guys. Mm -hmm. But that's mainly the thing in, in cars, vehicles. You find a lot of road kills because they're crossing the roads at night to get warm, and unfortunately, cars run them over an accident, and, uh, and that's why they're becoming threatened. So what is his habitat? Um, they like, uh, they're pretty arboreal. He's pretty thin and that's for, uh, good for climbing trees. Okay. And so they like it in trees. They also like it in palm forests where there's a lot of like palm thatch and things like that. Okay. And so he, he was sticking his tongue out a lot. What is mm -hmm. he doing when he's doing that? Uh, he's uh, tasting um, uh, molecules in the air and that is to sense his surroundings and that's kind of a sense of smell. Okay. Yeah, they taste the air and then they know what's going on around them. This is kind of an odd setting in a new studio for him, yes. so he's just checking out what's going on. Is this his first time being here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. First time being out of the zoo, so since we've got him. How, how long have you guys had him? Uh, we've had him about a year and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what can people do to kind of help these guys survive more in the wild since they are a threatened species? Yeah, just when you're driving at night, just watch out the road for snakes. They show up pretty good in your headlights. Just try to go around them. Um, if you encounter them in the wild, don't try to kill them or, or anything like that. Some people think that they're, they're dangerous, so they'll kill any snake they see. Don't do that. Just leave snakes alone, and they'll leave you alone. Okay, and so you can go visit this guy on Christmas. You guys are open on Christmas. Yep, Christmas, New Year's, all, every major holiday, we're open 365 days a year. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. And also, uh, memberships make a great uh, Christmas present, too. So Perfect. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for bringing him yep. on the show. We'll be right back. Thank you.